Hi guys, my name is Kirsty. Welcome back to Upside Down Books. Today we're going to be doing a review of Wild by Nathan Besser. <laughs> First of all, a big thank you to Penguin Random House Australia for sending me a copy of this review, uh, of this review, of this book after I requested it because I've been outrageously excited for such a strange book. When I saw this on one of their highlights emails of things coming up, I just read the blurb and for some reason it really captured me and I wanted to know more about this story. And I'm really glad that I did. I ended up reading it four out of five stars and I just thoroughly enjoyed this whole thing. I thought it was going to be a slow read. It seemed like it was going to be a bit of an old timey book that I might spend ages just getting through thick prose but that was not at all the case. I flew through this and I loved the story in it. This has just come out as well so it's out in all of your local bookstores. It was released on the 3rd of September so if you do want to get a copy of this then that is very much so achievable. So this is a whole story that is set in London during the early 18th century so in the very early 1700s. We follow a guy called Jonathan Wilde who is a general thief taker in London and it is like a faux memoir and super interesting. At the very beginning of this book we get like a little snippet from the author himself as to how he came across this historical figure because Jonathan Wilde did exist and he did do these things. I don't know exactly how true the story is though, there's a lot of poetic license shall we say, but this story about how the author came across his character was super interesting. It was basically just that he stumbled across mentions of him in other research that he was doing and he followed up on these footnotes and has just got carried away reading about his story. So Bessa has written this whole book as though it was Wilde's very own memoirs, however it is a dual perspective book so we get a character called Defoe and then we have Wilde's perspective as well and it sort of flips between the two of them to put this whole story together and Defoe was essentially he's almost like the chronicler of this memoir. Wilde comes from a very lowly family, very povertized, very not much money happening and very little prospects for him. He sleeps in the kitchen and his parents really don't care about him and he wants more from his life. And the book just follows him as step by step he cheats and scrambles to better his life and find a better foothold going up and up and up and trying to make a better life for himself and it's really entertaining how he does this. It's delightful watching all the ridiculous things that he does to get here and it's super interesting all the different avenues that he explores to make him a self-made man but he is definitely the baddie of the story because he does not do this for any good reasons and he does not do it in any nice ways. So I thought that this whole story was just a really fun look at this time period. It was fun to just pick a random character from history and have a look at this and it was really interesting to look at the ins and outs of some of the most notorious prisons in England at the time and a few infamous characters who are in jail for some bad reasons. I think the main things that I took away and liked from this story was exploring this sort of setting a little bit better. I've never really read I haven't read much, I've only ever come across documentaries and things in other research that I've done about this particular era, era in London, so it was actually really nice to spend an entire book looking at this setting and reading about how people went about their day-to-day -day life, how careers happened within families and how people could better their lives, or I guess more was the point how difficult it was to make your life any better than your parents. The other thing I liked was that the characters were super interesting. So given that this is a bit of a more old-fashioned style and the language is a little bit more formal as well, it was still entirely capturing to read. The characters are witty and clever and I really enjoyed Defoe's sort of beaten down attitude about life but he is determined to do the right thing by his friends and his family and the world. I am actually struggling to think of other books to compare this to. This is really one of a kind. I've not read anything like this before but if you think this sounds like something you might like then I can guarantee you you will enjoy reading it. This is such a good reading experience and it will not take you long at all. I would definitely recommend this to people who bo read both YA and enjoy historical fiction and even then if you do enjoy a contemporary this almost reads as one just set 300 years in the past. I would love to know down in the comments below if you've even heard about this book, if you're planning on reading it or lo and behold you've actually read the book. Do let me know, I would love to hear your thoughts but other than that I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.